Hello and welcome to another walkthrough for Postgres for everybody. Of course, today we're going to play with the code for Elasticsearch, which is in effect a compare and contrast. So we got a number of different bits of sample code. And I'm going to start with Elastic Book. So let's take a look. VI ElasticBook.py. So ElasticBook.py. Uh, makes a connection and uh, fills up a bunch of stuff with Elastic, with a, a fill, reads a book text from Gutenberg and then fills it up. So the first thing you got to do is you got to put your credentials. Oops, that would be my hidden one. Hidden dist has some sample credentials and it's important that you set the Elastic here. Um, we're In this particular example, we're using the same user and index. So we're going to have an index that's the same as the username. And whatever your auto grader or whatever will give you these details to place in here. So you copy this into hidden.py and then you edit and put the real values in. So you will notice that in the beginning of elasticbook.py you see that it's going to import hidden and then later it's going to grab the elastic search secrets and then it's going to create an Elasticsearch client, and then we're going to actually use, in this case, the same index as for the user. We'll reuse one index um, over and over and over again. So if I take a look at the basic outline, it's going to wipe out the index, which is like dropping a table, and then it's going to recreate the index, and then it's going to read through these paragraphs and do some parsing. So I'll come back to that because it's going to take a while. And so I want to go ahead and start this, python3 elasticbook.py. And it asks me for .txt. So you'll see it's going to drop. Oh, oh what did I type wrong? Oh, 14091.txt. What did I type? 14091 lsp14 star. Let's start at txt. Oh, pg 14091.txt. I forgot the G. So let's go ahead and start it. For the year. pg 14091.txt. Okay, so it's going to drop the index. So it did that and it started the index. It tells us something about the index and now it's off and running. So we'll come back to this. It's got a bit of work to do, so it's filling up the Elasticsearch right now. So let's take a look. We saw it open the book file, get our secrets, set up an Elasticsearch instance in Python using, and again, you have to do a pip to install this Elasticsearch library. Once that's installed in your virtual environment or whatever, uh, you're good to go. And then we're going to basically just read and um, we're basically looking for blank lines and we're going to concatenate um, these lines together and make a paragraphs out of them. Okay. Here are, we're concatenating the lines together. It's a bunch of blank lines. So let's just take a look at the file. We got PG 14 text. So what I'm doing, if you look at this is I'm taking taking and reading all these lines, looking for a blank line, and then concatenating these so that they're one long line, which means I'm getting rid of the new lines at the end, I'm, I'm concatenating, throwing a blank in. So you see, I, I read a line, I trim it, then I read the next line, I trim it and concatenate it with a blank, and then at some point I get a blank line, and then I insert this whole paragraph. This whole paragraph gets inserted at this point in this body doc, right? Okay, so it's accumulating it, and then when it finds here a blank line, then it says it counts how many paragraphs it is, puts content in. Now, one of the things that's important for a Elasticsearch strategy is you do want a primary key. And so you could, there's a couple of ways I could do primary keys here. I could have them just go up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'd be fine. I could pick random numbers. 
Um, but I've chosen instead to actually compute a predictable hash of the document contents. And so this, I'm going to do a SHA-256. I'm going to do a SHA-256 on this whole thing. And what this means is, is, I don't know if this is what you want to do, but it's what I wanted to do, is I want each paragraph just to be here. Now I am keeping track of the where it's offset into the document. So I'm making this document a, a JSON document. In this case, it's just a dictionary. So we have the offset, which is how many, which paragraph, and the content. And then I'm going to insert it and have a primary key, which is a big, long hex number, but it is it's a hash. It's a really well-built hash because it's a SHA-256 hash. And so what happens is, is if I'm going to use the primary key here and I'm sticking into the index with that primary key, it does mean that if I have exactly identical text, I will only get one copy of the paragraph. Now, you could do something different. You might decide that you want to make your primary key just be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, one of the things you don't want to do you're not supposed to change the type of your primary key. So uh, this is a string. If we used UOUID of 4, hex digest will give me back a string. UUID 4 will give me back a string. PCOM will give me a number. And either of those would work. Just don't change it once you start building it. And so we are adding these documents. You see it say add a document. It's still busily, busily adding documents. I don't even know how many it's done. Let's see how far it is. 2,000, 2,000 paragraphs have been added to our, um, come on, go to the end. There we go. We got to wait till it's all done, right? So at 2,200, it's still loading. Let's see, is there anything else while we're waiting? Oh, let me tell you about the index refresh. So one of the things that we do is um, it... Elasticsearch sort of delays its index processing, and we've seen this in other databases where the index processing is delayed, and this says stop now and refresh your index. This is not something that you want to do all of the time. You want to say stop and let's recompute the index. Now, if this was a, a highly scalable server with a whole bunch of clients, you wouldn't want to do this index refresh. You certainly wouldn't want to do it every time we're going through this loop, right? This says, let's let's wait and catch up with the index, and that's what's going on here. And if I was going to start doing some reading of it, I would have to do a refresh uh, to recompute the index before we did it. So let's see how we did here. Okay, so there we go. We uh, loaded 2,600 paragraphs, 17,000 lines, and 875,000 875,000 characters. So, um, I, I, I mean, I built a little tool that we'll cover in a separate video called Elastic Tool, Python 3 Elastic Tool, because there is no PSQL or any way that's a client. So I built one, and this knows from hidden.py, let's type help here, this knows uh, for hidden.py, um, it, it went and grabbed that index. Um, I can say match all, and that will actually not match all of them, and just get a bunch of them. And so it's showing you the documents, the first five documents. Um, and so like, okay, we can then we can see like I can say search for penmanship, and that will find me a list of a number of the documents that have penmanship in them, right? All right, so I can search for repose. Now, one of the things is we've got these IDs here. Now, if everything goes well, I should be able to do a get based on the primary, oops, not penmanship. I should be able to get a document based on its primary key. Let's see if that works. Boop, there we go. And so I just retrieved a document based on its primary key. So that primary key is the SHA-256 of that data right here. I probably should have, oops, should have trimmed the left there. Eh, it's not perfect. So um, that's what this does. You can also just wipe out the, uh, if, you, if I type delete, it will wipe out the um, entire index, which I don't want to do. But that's it. So I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you for this elastic uh, elastic book loader. It's, and so you, it's, it's just a parsing of a lot of data and pushing it into a 
Elasticsearch database. So cheers, hope this helps.